Huntsville, Alabama is building so many apartments that Scott Turner of AL.com is renaming the Rocket City to the Apartment City. The number of new apartment units has increased by 65% in the last year, yet the city has only grown 5.8%. Huntsville, however, did need an apartment upgrade with all the new jobs coming to the area, such as Mazda Toyota and Blue Origin and the FBI. But did we really need this many apartments? Not only did we have a record year with new apartments and a 65% increase in units over the past year, we also have a lot more units coming available as well. We have 44 apartment complexes with 8,800 units under construction and another 34 apartment complexes with 6,900 units that has already been approved by our commission. With all these dollars chasing apartment complexes, you might be wondering, are we doing anything about single family homes and affecting the supply or the lack of supply that we have in this area? Tommy Battle said, yes, single family housing is something that we're going to have to push a little bit coming up. So we had 1,021 single family homes um, last year in 2022, but 4905 in, in uh, multifamily. The good news is that we have had 1,676 single family lots approved for this next year. Um, however, that's simply not enough compared to all the inventory of apartments that we have. So with all these apartment complexes online and in the works and interest rates doubling from where they were starting in the high twos and low threes to the sixes and even above that for commercial projects like this, you have to wonder if these investments, if these apartment complexes still pencil out for these investors, especially if there's an oversupply and the vacancy rates are higher than normal for this area. So that's gonna be something to watch you know, how is that going to affect rental rates in our marketplace? And will some of these apartment complexes end up in foreclosure as well? I think the bet for the city with all these apartments coming online is that we're likely going to have an even more transient workforce with Mazda Toyota coming to the area, the FBI coming and bringing a lot of jobs to the area. But the question that I have is, is this good for Huntsville? Because typically, you know, when you live in an apartment that you don't have quite the pride of ownership in the community that you otherwise would. And then also the wealth transfer just does not happen. You know, the average renter in this country has about a 5,500 net worth versus over $255,000 for a homeowner. So these are two red flags that I have with this strategy of building so many apartments. If you don't wanna be part of renter nation and apartment city, and you wanna build your wealth, send us an email at moving at mattcurtisrealestate.com and we'll help you find your new home.